Well, Farmer Aaron is here. Good morning. Good morning. We both are early risers because I thought, oh man, you're all the way in BC and like this poor thing has to wake up early, but <laughs> you're used to that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so uh, CTV's original series, Farming for Love, blooms into season two with a new crop of farmers who will open their hearts and their farms in the hope of finding true love. Casting for season two is on now. So uh, Aaron, how the heck did this opportunity <laughs> present itself to you? Because reality TV and Canadian farming, it doesn't really go hand in hand. <laughs> um, being a farmer in a small town, uh, particularly being a single farmer in a small town, um I had a lot of people when the the links went out for casting um I probably had it sent to me 20 to 30 times by various people in my life so um that for me was sort of how it came on my radar um I also just really appreciate the efficiency that I am staying at home working all summer and they have a whole crew of people out finding prospective partners that then they're just going to bring to the farm so Honestly, it kind of fits with farming quite well in terms of the like, they're collecting a whole crop. They're going to harvest that, bring it to the farm. It's going to be great. <laughs> that would, wouldn't that be easy if it could be done like that every time? Uh, yeah. Well, so the show, or I guess like the concept of the show, it's been all over the world. We're just loving season one here in Windsor, Essex County. I hear like the success rate of couples is pretty high. Is that true? Yeah, from everything I've ever seen, sort of with all the uh throughout the world the different um shows yeah it seems like it's got a pretty high success rate so here's hoping well it says here 197 weddings and 480 children like i'm trying i'm very bad in math but that's like that's a lot of kids 480 a lot of kids yeah Wow, uh, that's very exciting. A uh, better better uh, success rate than uh, that other show, as we know. Um, Aaron, farmer Aaron, what is a farm nerd? You call yourself a farm nerd. <laughs> um, well, so I, uh, I actually went to the University of Guelph, so I lived in Southern Ontario for quite a while. But uh, I really, really love um, soil science, crop science, um, understanding the, the interactions that are happening within the farm. Um, and that like, I'll be on a tractor for, you know, 12 to 14 hours and I'll be listening to soil science podcasts or regenerative egg podcasts while I'm working, just cause you know, you can't get quite enough. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I would, would describe as by that I'm a bit of a farm nerd. Wow. And you're a second generation dairy farmer. Uh, you've been milking cows since you were a little girl. And you're one of the only uh, solo women in BC who runs their own soil to shelf dairy farm. So pat on the back for that. Thank you. Yeah, it's still um, definitely a male dominated industry. And there's not that many of us that are um, yeah, owning and operating our own dairies as women. Yeah, I'm like one of the only female sh solo morning show hosts in the region. So like I totally... Uh, that's that's amazing that's a, that's such a you could hang your cowboy hat on that <laughs> so is like cheese the way to your heart besides the um soil crop um, podcast would you say cheese would be the way to your heart probably yeah good food just in general but uh cheese is always a uh, a solid uh option yeah I bet I guess a lot of people say when they're dating like a red flag is when like the person's like rude to the server so maybe it'd be like if the person is you know, how, how do they treat a puck of brie is like a red flag for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, um, for those who have not seen the show, it is a dating reality show set in Canada. Uh, it, it, so is it's you and other farmers, correct? Like give us like the, just like the gist of the show. Yeah. So from even just seeing the first season, essentially there's going to be a handful of farmers that are all looking for love. And then the they've brought in daters for each individual farmer there's some speed dates at the beginning and then there is on-farm dating where they actually get to integrate into our our hectic lives on our farms and um yeah and then there's just some one-on-one -on -one dates as well and sort of see where that goes yeah so we are basically following along with multiple <laughs> storylines so it'll be your, yeah. your storyline and like two or three other farmers so yeah. is it just city folk vying for your attention or are there some rural uh daters or is it all city city dudes it, it's really open to anyone who's interested it definitely is something that 
they're going to need to be willing and able to relocate, which I think sometimes maybe is easier for jobs that work remotely, um, which is less often people that are rural have, have those careers. Um, but basically, yeah, it's open to anyone that's willing to, to relocate and interested in, in life on the farm. Now, um, do they, is it, are you on like a set or is it like your farm? No, it'll all be on our farm. So yeah, we're very lucky where I am in BC. It's a pretty epic backdrop um, and kind of looks like a, a set, but no, nope, it's all on our farms. And by set, I meant like, uh, like a, like they like rented a farm to film on yeah. or whatever. No, nope. wow. <laughs> that is wild. And I love this show because if anyone's ever seen it, it kind of answers the question right away. Like, what would you do for a lot of, would you move here? Would you change your life? Am I feeling this connection? It's a very authentic dating show. And I know you haven't started filming yet. Of course, casting is happening right now, but what do you think some of the challenges are going to be that your urban suitors are going to face? Do you think? <laughs> I can already yeah. be um, our my farm especially because so we are yeah we're a dairy farm but we're also vertically integrated we do all of our own processing all of our own distribution my life can be pretty hectic um I'm spread across a lot of different things um keeping a lot of different balls in the air so I think that people might be a bit surprised about that um and if they're from a more urban setting um Creston BC and the Kootenays is pretty uh, isolated compared to most of like Southern Ontario or anything. So I think that would definitely be an adjustment for for someone coming from a larger center for sure. Now, are you like fully expecting like someone that you end up with to like be hands-on at the farm? Is that something where it's like, you, you kind of have to like pull your bootstraps up and help? For me, I really want a partner that's passionate about something. If that something is helping on the farm and wanting to be part of this quite large business we have going on, that would be wonderful. But if they're really passionate about something they already are doing, I would love to just support them in chasing that. Um, and in some ways it would be lovely to have someone that has something outside of the farm because my entire life is the farm. So it's nice to have somebody that uh, comes home and has something to talk about other than the cows and the crops and things. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of open to anything. It's interesting because I thought fully for sure, like a farmer, it's like, I don't know, like maybe a celebrity has to date a celebrity, an actor has to date an actor. But no, yeah, you're saying like you kind of wouldn't mind a little a little bit of a change. Uh, on the show right now is Farmer Aaron from Farming with Love season two, a CTV original. We are so excited because casting has started. The next casting call near Windsor and Essex is in Toronto on July 9th. You can find the details at country959.com. Do you know when the show premieres? You, pro you probably don't know that information, right? Nope. <laughs> I guess it's uh, however long it takes to film, right? Uh, well, we are very excited. We certainly wish you all of the best of luck. Before you go, I like to play games with my guest, Aaron. Are you ready to play this one? Yeah, sounds good. Can you read that? <laughs> yeah. Can you read it? Oh, read it? red flag or feed bag with Farmer Aaron? That's right. So we're going to play, is it a red flag or does the does does the uh, the guy get the get the feedback? You see what I'm saying here, right? I think <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Have fun with it. Don't overthink it. Is it a red flag or does he get the feedback? So, what if your date says, "Let's let's go to the bingo." Oh, feedback. He's going right in the feedback. Okay, and that's because it's just cash. Yeah, and small town fun. Bingo's a great time. So true. I like it. Uh, all right. Uh, red flag or feed bag? Um, an extremely fancy restaurant. I'd say feed bag. Okay. Like a, I like a fancy dress up if, every once in a while. Yeah, it's not too hardy to hardy. You're okay with that. Uh, yeah. okay. Uh, red flag or feed bag with Farmer Aaron. Uh, bungee jumping. We're going on a date. That's like the third episode. They got you on CTV going, going bungee jumping. <laughs> I'd probably say red flag. I would love to be brave enough to bungee jump, but I have tried rock climbing and I'm absolutely terrified of heights. So I don't think it would, I don't think it would be very romantic me screaming and crying. I don't think that's really the way to someone's heart. Well, like, is it, will you accept this egg? What is the thing? At the end? Do you do that thing? What is it? Will you accept? <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like if it's, if it's anything, it should be like a bail. Like they have to be able to hold up 
like a 125 pound bale, just like here. <laughs> but hold it throughout the whole ceremony at the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's standing in a row. <laughs> exactly. Let's do two more of these, Aaron. Uh, red flag or feed bag, a submarine excursion. Oh, red flag for sure. Any reason for that or? <laughs> like living it's really something i'm really enjoying <laughs> it feels so bad everyone jokes about the 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 what their fate and it's it sucks all around but maybe it's too maybe it was too soon for the sub joke <laughs> okay let's do one, one more um we're doing red flag or feed bag with farmer aaron a screening of bend it like beckham oh feed bag for sure it's my favorite movie <laughs> I don't think I know a single human whose favorite movie is Bend It Like Beckham. I, I love don't. Bend It Like Beckham. How many times have you seen it? Oh, hundreds, probably thousands. We don't, we didn't have cable. So we just had like VHSs, right? Like we had a drawer full of VHSs and it was my favorite one. And my dad kept hiding it because he never wanted to see it again. But you said the storyline is kind of like a really, yeah. like it's like it, it's really indicative of like your life's path. Yeah. I think got, they, they got to throw that in on the show. Tell them that that's going to be, that'll be the final date, the final scene. <laughs> I love it. Well, we are so, honestly, we're, so, I'm so excited. I'm so intrigued by reality TV dating shows. Who isn't? Uh, but we cannot wait to see, look at you. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Farmer Aaron uh, for British Columbia. You never know what's going to happen if if you don't try right so casting exactly. is open at ctv.ca farming for love casting i'll put all the links up on our website and don't forget new news episodes of season one they're still on at sundays at seven uh on ctv ctv.ca and then the ctv app as well i i mean if the success rate is 480 children i think you're good i'm hoping <laughs> that would be great well good luck with the show we can't wait for it to air perfect thanks so much